Hi, welcome back. I hope that you're all doing well. I am doing okay. We have been going through the Tropical Storm Debbie here in Florida. Yesterday was a really bad day of just tremendous rain. We've had flooding in areas around us. Thankfully, our complex wasn't flooded. Um, we do have some problems with the car that we have, um, water damage due to um, my husband was running out Naren and then it started getting really bad. He was heading home and he had to drive through some water. It was the only way to get home and um, we have some water damage so we don't know if the cars can be saved or not but that doesn't matter because he's fine, I'm fine, my parents are fine, my family's fine, and my friends are all fine too so um, we're just grateful that you know, property can be replaced, um, people can't be. So that's my little update with that. Now I'm actually here today to do a review on a product that I promised a couple people that I would do. It is on a product that I have tried um, over several days and it is the heart... Oh. One minute. <laughs> Sorry about that. It is the Heart Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer. Now this is a product that I bought at Walmart in a package that had a little concealer pencil like this. It cost six dollars and right now I think the Heart Candy is only sold at Walmart but if I am mistaken you can correct me down below in a comment. Okay this concealer is uh, it says that it's heavy duty, duty and it is 20 grams or 0.71 um, fluid ounces. It comes in this plastic tube, which I like the packaging because like you see me drop it now, it's not going to break. And it has a nice twist off cap that stays very secure and I like the way you dispense it by just squeezing it out of this little tip there. Now, I will say that this concealer does work well for dark circles. The only thing is that if you are like me and you're over 35, I'm way over 35, and you have some fine lines, even with setting uh, this with the powder and using another product that I'm going to talk about in a second, talk about in a second, um, within a matter of two hours or so, you're going to see some fine lines popping through. So it does settle into the fine lines. And that is the only reason that I wouldn't purchase this product again for me. But I would recommend it highly for someone that's younger or someone that is my age or over 35 that doesn't have the little fine lines underneath here. Um, I think this product is good because it has a great pigmentation. I will warn you um, if you've never used this that this product will last you forever if it works for you because the amount you need is about that much for both eyes. It is highly pigmented, highly concentrated, and in fact um, a subscriber of mine gave me a really my light is going out over here my a subscriber of mine gave me a really great idea that I used and I, I did I should say and it did help with the consistency and help to blend and it is to take this L'Oreal Magic Lumi light infusing primer to take a tiny bit with this and tiny bit with this so you have this already here on the hand you're just going to take not even a pump you just put just like a pin size so you have two little pins right there and mix it with your fingers or you could do it with the brush and then apply it to the areas that you need it and when I did that it went on very smooth and it seemed to last a little bit longer before it started to settle into the fine lines it also brightened up my under eye area so I was very very pleased with that it's just that after you know a couple three hours those fine lines you know they start showing and um, I just didn't like that um, 
Now on the website, I have a little cheat sheet here. I want to make sure that I'm giving you all the information. I wanted to tell you that it comes in three colors. Uh, it comes in light, medium, and I believe it's deep or dark. It's one of those terms. The color that I use or that's good for my skin is medium. And to give you an example, in the Studio um, Tech Cream Foundation, I am a NC27. And in the other products, I would be either an NC27 or N, oh, excuse me, NC25 or NW25. I'm kind of right in the middle. I'm, I'm a neutral. Okay, um, so if you're in my color range, a medium would be a good color for you. Uh, I want to just say here, it also says that it does a good job at covering um, blemishes. Now, I don't have any blemishes right now, and I, I usually don't break out, uh, so I couldn't test that on that. What I can tell you is that I do have a malar rash from my lupus, and it's just a red... Uh, not really raised, just a red area that looks real blotchy. I tried to use this to cover that area and it didn't quite cover it. The redness came through. So if you have something like a malar rash or a rash on your face, this I don't think will really help you. But it says it will work with pimples. Um, I will have to ask somebody who's tried it because like I said, I haven't tried to use it that way. It also says that it will cover tattoos. Now I don't have any tattoos, but I have a scar right here, if you can see that with this light. And I tried covering it to see, uh, you know, using this to cover it, but unfortunately it really didn't cover very well. But maybe scar um, tattoos are different. So. I would say that if you are interested in this product and you are in Walmart, just give it a try. It's six dollars. It's not really costly and if it does work for you, it will go a long way. You know, just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you. You know, the reasons that it didn't work for me is that I do have these little fine lines that it sunk into. So that is my review for the Glamourage and that's by Hard Candy and uh, I hope that this was helpful to those of you that are watching. If you have any questions or comments, please comment down below. I'm also on Twitter. I have been on for a while. I have my information in the down bar. Um, I'm the Darling Debs there, just like I am here. And I am on Instagram with the same name. I have a lupus blog that I try to keep up with and a beauty blog that I just started too. So those links are down below. Um, come follow me. Uh, join me, whatever. <laughs> I hope that you're having a great day and I um, want to thank all my subscribers, both the new people that are just subscribed. I want to welcome you again and to the people that have been with me from the very beginning when I just had like one or two, which I don't have that many videos. I'm trying. I want to thank you all for your kindness and your support. So take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.